My name is Casey McGrew. I'm the singer and uh, rhythm guitar player for Dead Man's Hand from uh, Seattle, Washington. I uh, was in Seattle. I found Brett through uh, an online ad. Uh, we started writing some songs. We didn't. We couldn't really find anybody else who was willing to be a part of what we wanted to do, uh, which was just a straight up hard rock band with no real limits, just play whatever we want. And um, so we ended up moving out to Kansas City. And that was about three years ago. Uh, we located James through an ad on uh, a bulletin board somewhere. And he just came in, he was just, he just had this spirit to him where he just was so excited to be a part of it. And it was not too long after that, we ended up running into Jeff and I basically tricked him into joining the band by uh, asking him to fill in for a couple shows till we could find somebody else. Thankfully, because Jeff's always been kind of the glue that's held the band together. Whenever things are getting real bad, Jeff's the one who kind of reminds us why we're doing it. We, we released this song, Not For Nothing, and uh, it's a very personal song to me. It's a very emotional song. And uh, I had a woman come up, and it's one of those we don't really play live because it just tears me up when we play it live. So we've only played it maybe four or five times. But uh, I had this woman come up and tell me, she kind of pulled me aside and said, you know, that song, Not For Nothing. I lost her, her daughter, a week ago, uh, like a week prior to that. Said that she'd been in bed all week and she had just had music on in the background so she didn't have to hear silence. And I guess Not For Nothing came on. And she said that that song kind of helped her purge her feelings on it. And uh, it, uh, I guess, got her out of bed. She said that that got her out of bed. And uh, it was a real tough, it was a real humbling moment, you know, because it just goes to show you like what songs can mean for people. I mean, that, that song has a lot of emotional meaning for me, but it's nothing compared to losing a child. Uh, sacrifices has been part of my life for probably the last 10 years. And, you know, it was something where I had to make a decision and I made the decision to come out here. I mean, I've had to quit or lose jobs for this band because I couldn't get the time off for shows. I've had to miss time with family. You continue to lose time with the people you love. And just really the focal point of my whole life for probably the last three years has been this band. I'm, I'm living my dream right now. Like, so, you know, it's kind of, what is it worth? Yeah, we just recently uh, signed a deal with Pavement Records. Uh, honestly, the perfect label for us. Um, they've been behind us already, uh, incredibly excited to be a part of what we're doing. And more than anything, they just want to let us be us, which is very important. I think the minute, I, when I first heard about it, I thought it was a joke. You know, because again, going back to sacrifice, you try for years and years and years to make this happen. And all along the way, you have people telling you that you're wasting your time. I've been told since I was a kid that I wasn't going to be anything. You know, that I was just going to end up working in some crappy job because I kept going after this. And to see, to finally feel that kind of validation in the, a third party saying like, no, we, we believe in you guys. We want to put, you know, our hat in the ring and see what we can do. It was, it was incredibly satisfying. And uh, I mean, the minute, the minute we saw that contract get sent over, I printed it out and I mean, it's hard to describe that feeling. Just all the sacrifice and pains and everything you've had to go through and then all of a sudden it's real.